guys, it's a Nick from Beardy Beanie Vape Reviews. Um, I just want to say thanks to Steve Paradox for the opening bit on my videos. Spot on, mate. Absolutely phenomenal. Like I said in my description earlier, guys, thank you for everyone who subscribed to it. It's absolutely love it. Thank you very much. And as I said, everything I review, I've brought myself. If I haven't brought it, I'll tell everyone at the beginning of the videos, all right? It's not, I don't want these ones to get free shit because I can't stand it. No one paid for my smoking habit, so no one's paid for my vaping habit. If vendors do want to send me stuff to try for free, that's a bonus. At the end of the day, I work for a living, I work hard, I spend my money on what I want to spend it on. So I'm going to review the stuff I want to review for you. And today, um, you either love them or you hate them. All right? I saw it and I thought, you know what? I want to get one. And um, here it is. It's the Turbo RDA. Okay, mine's not the original one. I got mine from Fast Tech for about six quid. People say, why do you spend six quid on one for the genuine's only about 20 to 30 quid, depending on where you get it from. The reason is, if I don't like it, I don't want to spend 20 or 30 quid on something. Like I said, I work hard for my money. Um, first impressions of it, it's a very, very nicely made clone. Like I said, it comes from Fast Tech. It's about six quid. Um, it's obviously a four piece atomizer. Got your deck with massive, I mean massive juice wells and massive post holes. Um, you're not going to see it very clearly on here, unfortunately. Um, you've also got the chain part of the, well, the outside of the drip, outside of the top of the RDA with the little ohm symbol on there, which is very nicely been cut out. And you've then got, I don't know if I can get it off, probably not. There we go, the glass drip tip, and then the turbo section itself, well, it's not a turbo, it's a compressor actually. But there we go, we're not getting to the if, buts, and maybes. It's the whistly bit. Okay, all it is is a spinning fan with the airflow control on there. Glass drip tip goes on top. I also did get the bit for a normal 510 drip tip that come with it. Love them or hate them? They're a gimmick, are they a gimmick? Do they work? Yet to decide, but for six quid, it was worth a punt. I'm using another vape shop's own custard, which is very, very nice. Uh, so let's just see how she performs. Like I say the pulse holes are massive. I've got a six wrap 22 gauge royal wire and a two and a half mil drill bit. Comes in at 0 0.08. I'm doing it on the Manhattan or the Fu the Fu Hatton clone. Sorry, I should say. Sorry, not Manhattan. Fu Hatton clone. It was Samsung 25R battery. Okay. Um, don't go this slow, guys. Unless you know what you're doing. I've been vaping for a long time now. I've got Samsung 25R in there. Okay. I'm not actually doing full hits on it. Um, with the airflow wide open on it, it does make that that sound. Um, close it off slightly and let the let the fan do the work for you. So don't even have to do a sharp inhale. Lovely. What the fan's doing is causing a vortex. As it's spinning around, it's cooling the vape down. It's usually a 0 0.08 build, it's quite warm. This is lovely and cool. Lovely. Does it work? Um, don't know. My honest opinion, it cools the vape down, which is good enough for me. Um, is it worth a six quid I paid for it from Fast Tech? Definitely. Any RDA that works at six quid, spot on. Love it. Can't fault it on that. Build quality, phenomenal. I'm going to give it an eight out of ten, just because it's a clone. I wasn't got a ten out of ten. Um, like I said, guys, if you've got any questions, comments, or anything like that, drop them below. And like I said, I've been Nick from Beardy Beanie Vape Reviews, and you lot have been fantastic. Thank you for watching. As I always say, guys, vape safe, vape happy. Peace.